been already had this plan. But the thing that we need to be conscious of is this implantable biomicrochip. Are you following me? Yes. So it's RFID chip that they're going to put in everyone. This is what we need to be aware of because that is the culmination of their plan. They want to make human slaves out of us. They want to make uh, mind control slaves out of us. They want sheeple. They want useless eaters. They want automatons. They want to control you by remote control. And this is actually what's going on. In the 1960s, Professor Jose Delgado took a normally hostile bull and implanted electrodes into its brain. Electrodes that could be activated by a radio transmitter. His objective was to see if stimulation of the bull's midbrain could short-circuit the rage signals, stopping the bull before it reached the matador. After the bull had recovered from the implantation and in mid-charge, the button was pressed. The bull's aggression ceased and the bull's aggression ceased instantly. This is your brain. This is your brain on a microchip. Scientists say they'll now be focusing on linking the microchip with the human brain to see how well it can control artificial limbs and restore brain function. University officials say this is the only Canadian city that will be working with such technology. Crystal Gnansing, CBC News, Calgary. A clearer experiment was performed with cats. In this classic example, the hypothalamus, the rhythm maker, was implanted with electrodes. Could it be responsible not just for rhythms, but also for rage? The switch is turned. Then the switch is turned off. So indeed, the hypothalamus does control certain types of aggression. According to Dr. Delgado, experiments of this type have also been performed on humans. We know that these experiments were conducted in Canada at certain hospitals and that certain unknowing, unwilling, unconsenting human subjects were implanted with small electrodes in the brain and to this day are still being controlled by their handlers. It is not, ladies and gentlemen, a complex process, as you may believe. In fact, it need not even be implanted within the skull or be productive of stimulation of the brain. All that is needed to accomplish the radio control of the brain is a twitching muscle. The subject becomes hypnotized and a muscle stimulant is implanted. The subject, while under hypnosis, is commanded to respond when the muscle stimulant is activated, in this case, by radio transmission. While the private was in a deep trance, Watkins told him that the officer sitting across from him was an enemy soldier who was going to attempt to kill him. In the private's mind, it was a kill or be killed situation. The private did not see his own officer sitting there. He saw an enemy soldier. The private immediately jumped up and grabbed the officer by the throat. The experiment was repeated several times, and in one case, the man who was hypnotized and the man who was attacked were very close friends. And the results were always the same. Watkins concluded that people could be induced to commit acts contrary to their morality if their reality was distorted by the hypnotism.